YouTube just released a new chart in the Creator Studio that focuses our attention to a very important distinction. Let me show you. Here in the Creator Studio Analytics, you click Audience and then Returning Viewers. And now in this chart, you can see on each day how many new viewers and how many returning viewers you get. So your audience, your viewers are distinguished in two groups. But what does it mean? Of course, new viewers are all the people who discovered our channel for the first time and returning viewers are those who watched our videos in the past. And new viewers is all about understanding where the traffic is coming from, the viewers are coming from and understanding how to get more out of those traffic sources. If you want to learn more about that, then check out this video about those traffic sources and how they work. But I want to pay attention today onto the returning viewers because this is a new term, right? Who are those people in this group precisely? And you might think, well, our subscribers obviously are part of this group because they keep coming back to watch our new videos. So if we plot it here, then we see we have a group of subscribers. Part of them are inactive, those who don't keep coming back. And part of them are active, those who actually do come back. Our biggest fans, they are subscribed and watch each and every new video that we get. But by the way, how I show it here is a little bit misleading. Usually the inactive subscribers are a much bigger portion compared to the active subscribers. And there is actually nothing wrong about it. Even the best channels have a large portion of inactive subscribers. It's just the nature of thing. If you want to have a reference point for you personally, whether your active subscriber count out of the total subscriber count is high or low, well then feel free to look at the workshop tab in Morning Fame's analytics subscribers here and then you see your active subscribers plotted against what a channel of your size usually gets. So I see here in my case that I do a really good job at retaining my subscribers so they keep coming back to watch all my new videos that I publish. And that is actually the reason why I want to focus on returning viewers as well as active subscribers who are part of that so much in this video today because it is the core that you need to grow in order to be successful on YouTube because these active subscribers are a little bit like the growth motor of your channel. Those really count for your channel to have a guaranteed minimum amount of views for each video that you upload, as well as for the first people who send signals to the YouTube algorithms so that they promote your videos more. And this focus on active subscribers as opposed to your total subscribers, I mean, we just learned, right? There's so many inactive subscribers in our total subscribers. It's really core to focus on those active people who are really keeping coming back to watch our new videos because that is really hard to grow. The more you monitor your active subscribers, you see this is tricky. The total subscriber count to grow that is easy, kinda, yeah, but the active subscribers is really hard. But those are the ones who really count. If you have an inflated total subscriber count, it doesn't really help you anything there other than it's cool to see a high number next to your subscribe button. But other than that, it doesn't really matter. What matters are really those people who keep coming back to watch your new videos. And for that reason, for the longest time, Morning Fame, by the way, invite in the description in case you are interested in testing it out. Morning Fame helps you with drilling down onto what can you do in order to grow your active subscribers, who are of course representative of your whole audience who keep coming back to watch your videos, aka returning viewers. So when you go in Morning Fame's analytics to the velocity tab, as I mentioned, your viewers, returning viewers and mostly your subscribers are those who create the initial views in the beginning, the first day or two of the lifespan of a new video, they create these initial views. And that is the reason why those active subscribers are so important because they are the first to send those signals to the YouTube algorithms. You might have heard about view velocity before. This is the concept. The more 
your new videos really skyrocket right away, the more likely it is that they continue to be very successful. So this first stage of a video, like the early few hours, the early few days, these are very crucial and your active subscribers are the largest contributors to the success, the early success, the view velocity of your new videos. So that's why they are so important, even though that new viewers who might come later and watch your videos and might even be the bigger portion of the views that an individual video from you gets. Yeah, even though these are more viewers, those first viewers, your active subscribers in particular, are those that kind of decide whether a video of yours can be successful or not. And that is the reason why I created in this Velocity tab, where we look at the first three days after publishing a new videos, I created this section here that helps you to grow your active subscribers. You can click here to learn more about those active subscribers, but let me give you a quick rundown here of the tips. So first of all, we have a report about appealing thumbnails because it's very important that your thumbnails have recognizable elements so that all your viewers who already watched videos from your channel in the past will easily recognize your new videos when you upload them because you have similar designs in your thumbnails, for example, so that they are more inclined to click your new videos and hence create the first views of your newly published videos, right? And then next, of course, the idea is to publish at the right time because your subscribers who rang the bell in particular, they get notifications, right? And if you publish at the right time, that is important only for your subscribers on YouTube. Publishing at the right time is not important for new viewers, just for your subscribers. When you publish at the right time and your subscribers have currently free time and can watch your video, well, they click the notification and this way watch your video right away. That's why we think about publishing at the right time to get those active subscribers activated. And then finally, we have good subscriber experience and that I wanna show you because here you can overall look at how good their experience is. But most importantly, here you see a top list of all your videos in the recent history on your channel that perform particularly well for your subscribers. So looking through this list, you can understand which video topics your subscribers generally are enjoying the most and hence you can create more videos around those topics in order to ensure that your subscribers keep coming back to watch your new videos because they are interested in those video topics and reducing the risk that those active subscribers you currently have don't become inactive. As we talked in the beginning, it is easy to get your subscribers becoming inactive. They lose interest. It's just normal. But you need to try to keep most of your subscribers, as many as you can at least, active because they decide to a good extent the success of each and every new video that you upload. But let's circle back to this new chart here, right? So we now know how many new viewers, how many returning viewers we have. It is growing, if it's going down, so we can react on it. But of course, just seeing this chart here is not very helpful. Yeah, you don't know really what to do. But as I just explained to you with the additional tools from Morning Fame, you can drill down in order to understand how to keep most of your subscribers active. And of course, the big question is, we had this chart, right? Active subscribers are only part of the returning viewers. So the returning viewers, the pink line here, well, it's a little bit more than just active subscribers. And the big question is, who are they? Well, have a look. I once called those remaining returning viewers, yeah, active subscribers here and all the other returning viewers, semi-subscribers. That is, of course, not an official term that YouTube is using. This is just what I've invented. And actually, in 2017, I did a video about semi-subscribers. I just rewatched it and realized the advice there is really up to date, really up to date. So check this out, you will find out how you can build 
more of your semi subscribers, even get them to subscribe finally so they become part of your active subscriber base. Cheers, my friends.